Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we will explore the vital topic called basic SEO settings for website ranking in search. For those of you who are new, here is a vivid example to understand it in no time. If we type glamping in Europe, one of the top search results will be Europe Glamping, a website created with Spread Simple. You can see its link, name and short description. The correct SEO settings for top website ranking in search help Europe Glamping reach and keep its top position in Google. And we all know that the higher your website's position, the more traffic it generates. Just try remembering, when was the last time you went beyond the second page of search results? We bet it barely happens nowadays. Let's see how you can achieve the desired website ranking in search with spread simple settings. First and foremost, rest assured that websites made in spread simple are SEO friendly and you can manage your website SEO settings by clicking on the settings tab and then on SEO. This is how you upload your website's favicon. It's a small icon used on web browsers, which is an extremely important element of building and marketing any online presence today. These images help users quickly identify your website among an echelon of open tabs and find your website easily in their browser history. Next, you can upload your own preview or choose one from Unsplash royalty-free images. Some of the keywords are given below the search bar for your convenience. Make sure that it fits your brand concept. For example, depending on the content, colors that are too bright might look very loud and unappealing for the user's eye, and pastel shades might seem more pleasing if your business revolves around interior design, flower shop, or eco-store. Now, let's move on to other key elements – meta title and meta description. When written well, they attract more users to your website from the search engine results. Meta descriptions are essential for SEO. They are used to generate snippets that tell searchers about your page. Make sure their size doesn't exceed 160 characters. To write a good one, make sure to keep it short. Include your target keyword, a call to action, and important product information. You can also add meta tags for details pages. To do that, create three new columns in your Google Sheet and name them meta title, meta description, and OG image. Next, fill them with corresponding data. The meta tags will be taken from these system columns. No additional mapping in the dashboard is required. The column called OG image should be filled with the direct image links. For additional information on how to generate image links, click the link below. Let's move on to adding alt tag for images. The function of an alt tag is to provide a text alternative for search engines. Adding alt tags to your product's images is a great way to positively affect your website's SEO ranking. To add alt tags, open your Google Sheet, create a column that will contain alt texts. The column should be named the following way. For example, if your image column name is image1, the alt tag column should be called alt image1. Final step is adding the alt text. And that's it. All the old tags will be pulled automatically from the new column. Another feature you shouldn't skip is Sitemap, a file with information about the pages, videos, and other files on your website, and the relationship between them. Search engines like Google read this file to crawl your site more efficiently. Conveniently, the Sitemap is a built-in feature and is enabled by default for every website, so you don't have to take any additional actions. The sitemap content is generated automatically based on the content of the Google Sheets if the details pages are enabled. Also, it includes content pages and the home page. Quick tip! To get your website sitemap, type its URL followed by this ending. 
You can also submit your sitemap to Google Search Console simply by entering the sitemap URL. Google Search Console helps improve your website ranking in search results. We have written a detailed guide including all the necessary information to help you understand this topic. You will find it in our help page or by clicking on the link in the description. Moving on to URL aliases. On Spread Simple, URLs keep the filter, search, and sorting states allowing to get and share links to a certain category of items. But usually, such URLs look ugly, to say the least. By setting an alias for that URL, you can make it more user-friendly, like this. Such links will be more SEO-friendly. On your published website, filter your items by a certain category and copy that link. Next, proceed to the Pages and Links tab and create a new link. In the New Link Settings menu, paste the part of the URL with filter category to the URL field and fill the remaining fields. Add the menu item title and set URL alias. By clicking on the link, your website visitor will discover the already filtered catalog with a nice and clean URL. Finally, I would like to share some quick tips that can help make Google indexing faster. Add Google Analytics to your website by pasting custom code in the Settings tab. Be active on social media, share your website link on TikTok, X, Facebook, and other platforms. Write posts, respond to users' comments, and add the link to your profile. Share the link on websites with high traffic like Reddit, Quora, and all relevant blogs where potential customers can find it. If you are looking for more in-depth tips or need additional guidance, don't forget to visit our help page and check other videos on our YouTube channel. If this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new tip. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!